response to the arguments. Uh, I, I, su I suggest that the arguments that Mr. Malfoy are raising uh, are concessions that we've already moved beyond the motion to dismiss stage. He wants to turn this motion argument into a litigation over the, over the uh, specific uh, questions he has about the plan. He wants the board to turn this into an evidentiary hearing about the water plan itself, uh, which is exactly, as the chair pointed out, the point of having a full uh, final hearings. So he, uh, Mr. McElroy appears to no longer be requesting an actual dismissal <coughs> because he's asking for an opportunity to submit data questions and to ask questions that uh, he has on behalf of the town and that the energy is going to do its best to provide responses uh, to those questions or any other questions that might come up. He's asking that the board uh, should refer the water supply plan, plan for further you and input from agencies, um, which uh, Invenergy supports as well, um, so that the board can have the official views of the agencies to comment about the sufficiency of the information that's in the water supply plan um, and to advise the, the, the commission as the process is intended to, is intended to work. Uh, so, as the chair and the board members noted, I think, earlier and correctly, um, we're not here today to have a hearing on the actual elements of the water supply plan that have been on that have been filed with you today, or actually filed with you on January the 11th. Uh, those elements are going to be vetted, <coughs> we're going to be reviewed uh, through this remaining uh, review process, which is exactly uh, what the statute and the rules are intended to accomplish. So let's not forget the reason why we're here today. Uh, to examine whether the energy has cured the deficiency that existed when we were here back in October um, on the missing water supply plan as a result of the situation that uh, occurred with the Pasco Utility District. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, that, that argument, or the result of that status conference and that show cause hearing, uh, the board uh, suspended the proceedings, allowed the company the opportunity explore alternatives to develop a water supply plan. Um, we even went so far as to incorporate, I think it was 10 specific elements that the town wanted to see included in the water supply plan. They're very specific uh, uh, requests for information. We accomplished that. Uh, we went through uh, we a great deal of effort uh, to secure the necessary information in the water supply plan. And that plan is on file. Um, so there's no question that the deficiency has been cured in the water supply plan sufficient to allow this process to move forward to take a little closer look at it, better questions, uh, other input as required. Uh, and that's the whole that's the whole point of pointing that. Uh, I think it's I just I think it's important to point out uh, with regard to the uh, resolutions and the other things that Mr. McElroy mentioned about the Providence, uh, that, that as, I, as I read the resolutions, as I read the, the, the building the building and trade uh, motion, um, it was clear that the city's attorneys, that the water supply board attorneys have all advised that the water supply arrangements are perfectly legitimate and legal as they exist today, that there's nothing to, in the law that can prevent uh, the, that plan from being uh, exercised and implemented. Uh, we have, uh, so uh, on the point about Providence, I think it's just, I just want to emphasize that uh, it, it's, not, it's, it's not a proper uh, course of action to stop all of, uh, stop all of the review of this application merely because there's going to be a continued effort to maybe seek legislation, uh, maybe <coughs> that there could be changes in the, in, that might, uh, uh, you know, people might try to, to, to do things. It's important to keep a focus on what you have before you now, which is a water supply plan with, with all of the elements that we discussed uh, earlier that are addressed. Uh, it is a plan that has been duly authorized 
by uh, the town of Johnston and a duly authorized resolution uh, with a water supply agreement entered into by the town officials, which I suggest is actually a, a lot more than we had when we began this process with PASCO, where we had just a letter of intent. We did not have a binding commitment from PASCO, if you recall. Uh, we now have a binding uh, contract with the town of Johnston, duly authorized by its council. Uh, that's the facts on the ground right now. That's where we stand today. So uh, those are the important points I think are worth emphasizing uh, so that this process can, can move forward. Uh, lastly, uh, Mr. Malcolm began his, his argument with, um, with a, uh, a number of, uh, of <coughs> arguments about, the, uh, about his view or the town's view about the characteristics of the project. Obviously, just for the record, we disagree with those characterizations. I could argue here today about the need for the project, how it's going to be the cleanest and most efficient natural gas burning facility in the entire region of New England, how we will support renewable energies and renewable energy production and so forth. Those are the points of having a final hearing. So we can get into the very details of all of these arguments with evidence, with testimony, uh, and so forth. But those, those, I just wanted to make the point that we don't think those characterizations are really the point of a motion, of an argument on a motion to dismiss today. So um, that's that's my uh, response to the town's 